From Fox 35 Mission Control, another issue on the ISS. NASA says they cannot send any new supplies to the astronauts because of a damaged capsule. So that means it may take a while for more food to make it to outer space. Fox 35's Esther Bauer looks into what's being done to get those supplies to our astronauts. The cargo capsule was damaged on its way here to Florida. NASA now says it can't fly. This means some crucial supplies could be on standby. When astronauts go to space, they still rely on everything from Earth. Everything you could possibly imagine to live um, is brought up by these uh, various uh, resupply missions. But NASA's next mission is now a mishap. NASA says Northrop Grumman's Cygnus cargo module was damaged during delivery. On Thursday, a NASA spokesperson told Fox 35 the agency is adjusting planning for the company's next commercial resupply launch to the International Space Station and the next flight to the International Space Station for NASA targeted to launch no earlier than fall 2025. You know, basically what they'll do is they'll take off science so that means you trade off things you know you'll have the, the supplies and all you need to live but you won't be conducting all of the work that you're supposed to be conducting while you're up there Florida Tech space professor Don Platt thinks some research may take a back seat to make sure astronauts can survive. He says this isn't cause for concern just yet because NASA still has SpaceX to send up supplies every three months or so. You know, so you never know when something may happen to a particular type of vehicle and uh, so you really do need a backup for pretty much everything in human spaceflight. NASA says on the next SpaceX cargo resupply, they will make sure to have more food on board so astronauts have enough reserves before the next round of supplies makes it to space. And so they'll bring food, they'll bring water, um, breathable oxygen. Uh, any equipment that may have broken. And Platt says this situation makes him think a lot about going to deep space. These astronauts are very reliant on supplies we still have here on Earth, but on Mars, that wouldn't be the case. Reporting in Brevard County, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News.